Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I want to talk about something that is changing Call of Duty Zombies as we speak. And I know you guys have noticed it, especially if you've played Black Ops 3 or even watched videos on Black Ops 3 and I'm assuming most of you have. So let's go back in time to a much simpler Call of Duty Zombies World at War. What is one thing World at War did that no other Zombies game had? Give you a minute. There were no bosses. Now let's move to Black Ops 1. 5 introduced our first zombie boss, the Pentagon Thief. He was alright, stole your gun in the early rounds, a big nuisance, but around 10 to 15, just got easy. It was just something that you did, you collected your max ammo, you got on with the game, and it was okay. Then we have even easier things, we have the Screechers, we have the Napalm Zombie, we have the Cosmonaut, we have all these little things that are easily killed, and then we go on to Black Ops 3, and the biggest thing from Black Ops 3 are the Panzers from Origins. Okay, at the time, huge, uh, just an exponential growth on how hard it was to kill something because it had a claw, it could grab you up, it could flamethrower you, you'd try to run away and then zombies would smack you and then you're dead. My games ended like that all the time. But then we get into Black Ops 3 and the first map highlights Marquis. Three-headed creatures that you shot one eye out, they started running after you, they'd hit the ground and red screen you no matter if you had Jug or not, and you better hope that one of their flying bats aren't right behind them and shoot you because you will go down. I've went down numerous times to Marquas, but then we get their Isendrac, and that's where everything changes in the zombie world. We get the Panzer 2.0 that goes up in health every time they come out, exponential health every time they come out, and the things that might kill them in the on round 12, in the 20s, in the 30s, suddenly stop working in the 40 and 50s, and I have yet to figure out a sure way. I know, I know, the rocket does it. And I've tried a lot of your your suggestions with the KRM pack a punch, the Dingo pack a punch, nothing really works. Even the death machine, for as good as it is, doesn't really work. You need them trapped and you need to be able to just shoot them straight in the head and usually one death machine can take out one panzer, but the problem is you have two left unless you're playing solo. And that's what brings me to what's changing Call of Duty. Think about DLC 2, okay? Then think about DLC 3 and DLC 4 and then Call of Duty Black Ops 4 or wherever a zombie goes after that. If bosses are going to be a thing and on DLC 2 we have a panzer, not just one panzer, three panzers that can shoot things at you, shoot a flamethrower at you, and doesn't obey, obey the rules of zombies and just run around on the map and try to find you, it just flies up into the air and lands right in front of you. What? is DLC 2 going to bring us? And right now, from the images that I've seen, or the one image that I saw, it could be a swamp monster, it could be some alligator-looking thing. I have no idea. But I do know there's going to be a boss, because that's the thing. That's what makes zombies challenging to people after all these years. They realize, from World at War, people weren't that good. They didn't need it. Black Ops are like, you know what, this is starting to get easy. And then they're like, oh no, a Pentagon Thief. Black Ops 2, they're like, oh no, Panzers. And now people are like, okay, what, what are you going to throw at us? In the first map, you show me a beast that looks like the Nova 6 crawlers combined with some giant that has three heads that sprints after you that hits the ground and instant red screens you. And following that up with the Panzer 2.0 that electrocutes you, still shoots flamethrowers. I'm so glad it doesn't suck you into it with a claw that would be ridiculous I could not live with that but what's to come that's what I'm questioning here if you guys have any ideas let me know down below and also tell me what you guys think about this linear progression of zombie bosses do you think one day it's just gonna be one zombie it's just gonna be a level where a zombie boss has so much health you could just use every gun in the game once to kill it you see what I'm saying let me know down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Aaron. Peace.